Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we would be studying about string slicing special cases that we had discussed in the end of the previous video. So we discussed in the previous video that what is string slicing, how to perform string slicing and now we are looking into some particular special cases that may arise or that may uh, confuse you while using slice operation in python strings. So the first case is that what will happen when you specify the starting index which is greater than the second or the end index in the string slice operation. So for example if you have a string named str which contains the value hello world and these are the index values of the characters that are present in the string. Now if I specify this particular slice operation in which the starting value, the starting index is 8 and the ending index is 1. Now this is a case when the first index or the starting index is greater than the ending index. So in this case the return value is simply an empty string. Okay, You do not need to see what is the start value, what is the end index. You just have to see whether the starting index is greater than the ending index then directly you can specify that the output will be an empty string okay now coming to the second case the second case says that what will happen when the end index value goes beyond the valid range of a string that means the uh, ending index is greater than the length of the string so we had studied that the length of the string is basically the last index of the string the last valid index of the string plus one now if i specify a ending index which is greater than this particular index value then the python interpreter would actually terminate or truncate the string slicing at the end of the string so automatically when the ending index is greater than the length of the string the python index takes the end of the string as the end value and it does not give any error. So for example, if we have a string str and we want to find out the output when the starting index is 2 and the ending index is 15. So in this case, the starting index as we have seen here, the starting value would be first L and the ending index is 15 but 15 is much beyond the length of this particular string the length of this string is 11 so what will the python interpreter do it will start string slicing at the first l and it will go till the last character that is present in the string so the output would be double l o space and world so the output is truncated at the end of the string all right Coming to the third special case which says what if the starting index is missing. So in this case the interpreter automatically takes 0 that means the first index as the starting index and the ending index is the one that is specified by the user. So if this is the case when we have no starting index so there is no character here there is no space character here you can directly write the colon just after the square bracket so when you do this uh, and you specify the end index what will happen the string slicing will begin at the very beginning of the string and go till this ending index minus one so h e double l because the letter o had the index of 4 so we will start with h which is at index 0 and we will go till 4 minus 1 that is 3 which is second L that is present in the hello world. Now the fourth case asks you what will happen that if the ending index is missing. So just similar to the previous case if the end index is missing the interpreter would automatically terminate this string at the end of the string. Okay, So if we have a starting value starting index value of 6 and we specify a colon but we do not write any end index then this slice operation would go till the last character that is present in the string okay 
next particular case that we must understand is the negative slicing. So negative slicing happens when you use negative index values in the starting index or ending index or in the both in both the places. So what will happen? So now if you have a string say str1 which has the same uh, string value hello world I have specified the negative index values for each characters and if we have to perform a slice operation like this that means the starting index is minus 5 the ending index is minus 1 and you want to get the output so what will happen we'll start at index minus 5 and we will go till minus 1 less one less value than minus 1 or one lesser index than minus 1 so we will go only till minus 2 okay so the output would be w o r and l okay so please remember that in case of negative index values also you will go from left to right and the end index value character will not be printed will not be returned in the output okay now one important um, term or terminology that you must understand is the step size in terms of string slicing. So basically the slice operation can also take a third argument apart from the starting and ending index and that is that argument is known as the step size. So what will be the syntax when we also use step size in the slice operation? The syntax would be something like this in which we specify the name of the string then square brackets and then the starting index colon the ending index again colon and the step size. So what is the meaning of step size? Step size basically returns so if the step size is k every kth character starting from the first character that means starting from the this particular index value the character that is present at index n would be printed then every kth character would be printed and this will go on till index value m minus 1 okay so when the step size is also present in slice operation the first character would be the character at index n the last character would be the uh, in 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 uh, multiples of k okay so the characters would be printed in multiples of k and the uh, in at maximum the end character can be the character present at index value m minus 1 it may be before this value but it will never exceed this value so i'll just give you an example that what do i mean by it will never exceed that value and it may be below before this value so see if we have this particular string having the uh, with name str and having the value hello youtube so if we want to perform this operation the starting index is 0 that means the first character the ending index is 10 so the ending index is 10 that is u so actually the end of the string would be 10 minus 1 which is 9 and we want that every second character is printed so first the starting character would be printed and then every second character that means h then the second character l then the next character uh, in terms of 2 in multiples of 2 o will be printed then the next character in terms of in multiples of 2 again will be y and the next would be u now u is present at index value 8 if we have to print the next character in multiples of 2 it would be present at index 10 since we can only go till index value 9 therefore we will only get this particular string as output and the last character that would be printed will be u and we will not go beyond it okay so when step size is present it is not a guarantee that the uh, character present at the location end index minus 1 will be printed 
okay it may be printed it may not be printed similarly if we have to perform slicing for this particular val these values starting again at index 0 and going till at max index value 9 but now we have to do this slicing in terms of in or in multiples of 3 so since the starting value is h or starting index is h so h would be printed then the next character in multiples of 3 so leaving two characters the third character is second l that second l is printed then again leaving two characters small o and space the third character that is capital y is printed and again leaving two characters the last character uh, till which we can print is t that will be printed okay now again uh, the step size can also be negative and when you specify a negative step size say minus 1 minus 2 and so on so what actually happens is the printing or the return value or the slice operation begins from right side and proceeds from till the towards the left side so the first character that would be printed will be the character present at index value m minus 1 and the last character that would be printed will be the character present at index value n okay so in this case if we specify if we have a string str containing the value hello world and there is no starting string starting index so the starting index is 0 by default since there is no ending index the ending index would be considered as the length of the string and the step size is minus 1. So what will the Python interpreter do? It will proceed from right to left. The starting value or the first character that would be printed would be D. And the last character that would be printed would be H. So this will be the output. Okay. So this was all about special cases in string slice operation in python i hope you understood these concepts so in the next video we would be seeing how we can uh, traverse a string using different loops so stay tuned to our channel for that video and let us know how did you find this video till we meet in the next video mind your exam